Hello everybody and welcome to my first video of this new map called Greenwich Valley. This is by Green Bale and it's a map which is coming soon for the mod contest. Okay so here we are in the map and I just want to first of all thank Green Bale for sending this out to certain YouTubers early. It really is appreciated so uh, it's nice to be able to uh, have a first look opportunity. Anyway I think before we get into this what I want to do is just show you the PDA. I hope you like fields because we have plenty here and as you can see there's probably about a 50-50 split between grass fields and arable fields so definitely a good mixture but I believe there are roughly 125 fields so yeah no shortage you're never going to run out of uh, areas to work the land so what we're going to do is have a tour of the map we're going to go to every single place so there's four different towns we have Whitney just here, Strayed, Ballygreen and also Linton. We also have the two forests, one in the north and one in the south. And obviously then we're just going to tour the rest of the areas and see exactly what this map has got to offer. Because I had to be so zoomed out to see the different fields, uh, if I just zoom in you can see the different farms and different towns which are available. So you can see there's the horse paddock just down here, different town here, different cell points, that's the cow farm just there. And going across, we then have another town. Obviously, we're going to establish what all these different places are anyway. Pig farm. And then, yeah, back down to here again. So, yes, it really is big. And the sheep farm is just here. So what I'm going to do is tab to the first vehicle which I can use to do a tour in. I'm also going to put the time to real time because then you don't get the funny juddering shadows as you get in Farming Simulator 19. Nothing to do with the map, it's just it. Yeah, obviously if you have um, the time, anything above real time, the shadows do pan across as the sun goes round, so you are going to get the, the slight juddering. So yeah, I think before we do drive off, it would be a wise idea to study this first location, and this is our house, as you can see. The washing is out, and the door is just here. So let's go in. Living room just here. And yeah, love the photo on the wall with the Ford tractor. Yeah, so the uh, TV does work, as you can see, where the forecast is on, and so does the radio. That works as well. Oh, also, the light switch does work, so you can put the lights on in here. And if you want to sleep, just press R, and yeah, obviously, if it is the right time, you can indeed go to bed. So that is the farmhouse just there, with some nice, pretty flowers outside. Poppies, I believe. Um, yeah, I don't know if you can go in the garage. Don't think so. Let's just go across here. So, yeah, this would appear to be the starting off yard. We have fill number 32 and fill number 33 either side of it. We have the New Holland tractor just here. T5, I think. Yep, T5 120. Uh, we also have a few different things over here the sprayer, the weight, pallet fork, bucket, and the New Holland's front loader. Also, you might be interested to see if we have anything in storage in the silos, which we do. That might be affected by the difficulty. Can't say for sure, but yes, you do start off with it on the new farmer mode. Plenty of storage areas. Light switches here. I'm going to have to do this fairly quickly, because obviously otherwise the video is going to be like an hour long, <laughs> looking at the size of the map. Um, yeah, drill, tractor, trailer another trailer which you can actually use as a grain trailer if you want to, you can reconfigure it. Uh, you also start off with some uh, liquid fertilizer, some seed and some more, oh no, that's herbicide, sorry, herbicide and liquid fertilizer. So yes, you do start off with uh, a few different things to get you going. You also have the workshop, the combine harvest is just here, the TX32 with the header trailer and header to go with it and yeah, I think that's just going to go through to fill number 32. So there you go. A wheat field which belongs to us and then over here we have number 33 which appears to be a stubble field which again does belong to us. And in fact as I'm on the topic of fields which we own I will just zoom out and see exactly what we have. I think it is just the two fields. Yeah it does appear to be. So that is your starting point. Of course there could be another one. Sometimes I say this and then uh, when there's so many fields you can't quite see them all but yeah I think it is just those two. I think so. Um, so yes, we must continue. We must go back over to the pickup truck and begin the tour of the map. Okay, so yeah, the PDA can stay open just so you can see exactly where we are. I'm gonna have to refer to the larger scale map a few times anyway, so you're gonna see 
uh, the map quite a bit within this first look video. And just as I am leaving the yard, I will just very quickly say that the uh, the mod contest mods are going to be released at some point between the 7th and the 27th of July. I don't think anybody knows for sure, I guess Giants do, but that is going to be the release date of this map any, any time within that period. So it could be the 7th, or it could be as late as the 27th. Anyway, yes, here we go. I'm going to go south first of all, and I think really because we have so many fields, I can just pan across and you can see the fields which we are going past. I'm just going to go to all the different places of interest, but as it is quite a big map, I think it might be quite tricky to guarantee that we're going to see absolutely everything. Oh yes, and also I'll do it all in third person view, because it does make a, a much better viewing experience for first look videos. So, yeah, I think this is going to go to a dead end eventually after a very long way. We have so many fields en route. So, yeah, you can see all these different fields left and right. Yes, I probably shouldn't pan left and then say right. And over there we have the pig farm. At least I think it's the pig farm. So we'll take a turn down here. And we will experience this uh, first animal farm that we've been to. Okay, so we've got a nice farmhouse with a Suzuki. Lots of detail. Shrubs and trees. In the back here, I think we just have, yeah, washing line and stuff. So, we then have this water fill point. And we have an area for manure, I'm guessing. And then we have the pig farm itself. This is where the pigs are going to be, within the enclosure. Some storage for your pig working equipment, so things like, um, well, you could put some bales in here, possibly a bale shredder, uh, you've got trailers, tractors, basically anything, I don't need to explain what needs to go into the different storage points, and we also have another workshop which is well kitted out. Continuing around here you can see we've got the, the trough, feed trough, and then some more fields which you don't own, you don't start off with them, but they are here to purchase, and something which has uh, caught my eye here is it's not just like a uniform length, which is nice. You do have these tufts of grass, uh, which I think makes it look a, a lot more rough, a very nice rough look, as if it is a grazed piece of land. Although, maybe if it's not a grazed piece of land, because you know what sheep and pigs are like and everything, they do tend to eat pretty much everything which gets in their way. But yeah, it's just like there are tufts of grass, because some areas are more fertilized than other areas, particularly around cow pads. Anyway, Let's now reverse out of here and continue on. I shouldn't reverse out onto a road. But there we go. So we're just continuing down here. I keep the minimap open. And you can see we have different houses around. This one appears to be for sale, I think. Yep, that's for sale. So my guess is you can just go and buy these different areas if you'd like to. Yeah, so you can buy that if you want to. But also, um, yeah, field prices. I should have come on to that earlier. You can see the price of each field as I click on them. The price is just here. So they're quite expensive, but having said that, they are fairly large areas. And yes, we do own those two fields, because those are the only two which are highlighted in blue. Moving on, let's just head down here. I think we are just gonna come across a dead end. But yeah, loads of fields before we get to that. And potentially the BGA as well. Other houses. I'm not totally sure how you get to the BGA, but it will become clear very soon. Most likely this turning just up here. Yeah, so this is where it wants us to turn. This is going towards Linton. Uh, also the Wednesday stores, Linton Mill, BGA. And yeah. This is where we want to be. So yeah, our first sell point. Lots of detail. We have the signs as well to go with it. Which is always a nice touch. Yep, so Wednesday store, sell point. Um, more grass fields and stuff. And then this is Linton. I'm guessing it's a village or a small town. Linton Mill. Livestock market, different grain cell points, BGA just there, lots of little country bungalows, and yes, I think we'll turn right here towards Bally Green. Um, so, 
we are going to touch on the forest very soon. I'm just trying to think of the best way of going to it. I think if I go up here first of all, we can then hopefully do a lap and come back to that lower forest. Uh, this is the southern forest and then we do have the northern one too. So we then have the vehicle dealership just up here, if we just branch off, if we turn left just here. Should be able to discover it. There it is. So we've got all the different uh, brand flags. Must be through here, I'm guessing. Turbine grain. So yeah, so many cell points. Oh, that's not the right place to go. Uh, there must be another entrance then to the dealership, but that is turbine grain. Yeah, not too sure how I missed the turning. It is just here. Um, yeah, so anything you want to buy, any kind of machinery this is the place to go to. Right then, so if you take a look at the minimap you can see that if we go north it's going to come across uh, Bally Green but I think if we go south first we can then just go the back way there is a, a road which goes past fin number 102 and 120 and that way we will just see across more fields so it, it's not going to discover any more buildings I don't think but it's just going to see the countryside a bit better so yeah, just going this way instead see across there and then in a second it's going to come across the roundabout which I would have got to anyway if I'd gone the other way um, it's just yeah taking a different route to get to the same location uh, the obvious thing to do to begin with I would say is to turn right on the roundabout just so we can go and discover those other fields and then we'll come back to Valley Green in a second Ooh, anyone for some chicken yeah, so we've got some more fields over here. Left and right, we've got some wind turbines over there. So, yeah, no shortage of different fields if you want to buy these. We're back at the roundabout, so this time I'm going to go straight over. And then we can see the fuel station. There is another cell point here as well. And also, yeah, this is a bit more built up, this town. Very realistic. I will be going back the other way in a second, but just look at this. Yeah, I really do like these traffic lights. It just adds a lot to the game. Realism stuff. Uh, so, yeah, we have, I think, a river. We do indeed have a river. Which looks to go through a park. Just look at that, that is so realistic got to go very slow through here so we can appreciate the detail it's outstanding sorry I almost, almost hit that woman um, yes so we're going to be going left again and let's try and get back to the forest that is outstanding that really is outstanding work yes if I turn left again just here I've basically just done a loop and then we have this line of houses. And then hopefully, I'm going to get back onto the road which goes to the forest. If I just turn right here. Okay, so that heads back out of uh, Bally Green. And we should be able to rediscover the area just back over here where the forest is. So yeah, what we're going to have to do is turn right at the end of here, back past the shop, and then go north where you see the forest near to field number 89 and 79. Here we go. So the entrance is just up here. By the look of the minimap we do have some water as well. I would guess that is just in the entrance. Wait, there you go, we've got a pond and there is a gate. So we're just going to have to do a, a quick tour on foot. You can see that we have some timber stacked up here in the entranceway. It's all very atmospheric, it just looks very uh, well laid out and very realistic. And we also have the puddles. For whatever reason woodlands always do seem to be quite damp. Um, so yeah, I guess it's because of the lack of sunshine, it's very shady in here. Yeah, this is good. 
This is very good. I am impressed, I have to say. So the track has just run out here, but it does continue over this side. So I guess you could open this area up and use it for uh, doing some tree felling or whatever. Whatever you want to do in a forest. Maybe you just want to have a nice walk. And this goes back out again. I can imagine that both of the forests are fairly similar, although looking at it, the other one doesn't have a pond and also it is a different shape. So I won't miss it out. I will go and have a quick look there as well and back at the pickup. So let's continue our journey north. I have no idea how long this video is going to be, but there's just way too much detail to make it a quick video. Usually I aim to have about 20 minutes for a first look video, but I think this is going to be exceeding that by quite a bit. Okay, so if we turn left, we would be going back to the road we've already been to. So I'm just going to have a quick look up there. We're not going to actually turn left. We have already been there before. And this goes back over to Bally Green, which we've already been to, but we haven't been quite as far north as this. Uh, this is the furthest north we have been, except for our yard in the west. So, yes, we're now going to be venturing sort of north-northeast. More cell points as well. That must be, I would imagine, a bale cell point, but we can just take a quick look. Uh, yes, it is. Bale cell point, it is labelled. Which can be very handy, because sometimes it isn't always obvious where different cell points are and what different cell points are. And this is where we were before. This is the line of terraced houses. Farming Simulator Mod Contest 2019. Back through the lights and there is the park once again so this time we're going to go left and this is the way out of Valley Green to the north okay so that is another town covered we have now been to two of them we've been to Linton and we have been to Valley Green we still need to go to Whitney and Strayed and by the look of it, there is actually a road which runs parallel to this road to the east. I think we'll just have a quick look down there, but it does appear to just be accessing those other fields. The priority is the cow farm, just here on the right-hand side. So here we are. Everybody has these Suzukis. They must like them. Uh, plenty of storage once again, loads of sheds, and that is a nice track, which must go to field number 22, which is a grass field. Horse box. All the usual triggers and areas you require. It's just this time it's for cows instead of pigs. And yeah, obviously everything else is just detail. I'm guessing that's for silage, storage, and just other areas. Although that must be for milk, I would imagine. I think that must be for milk. Okay, so let's just have a quick run up this track which leads to number 22. It does look very appealing, if I can remember where it is. Um, yes, it's over here. It is very easy to get a bit turned around on a map with so much detail. So there you go. Out into another field. Okay, right, so this time we're turning right out of here. And this is going to go to a place called R... K Blair Farm Supplier, which I think is actually in Strait itself. Again, hopefully I'm actually pronouncing these things correctly, these town names. Uh, yes, so here we are. I guess some of them are villages. Oh, a bit of construction work. Diversion. We'll do as it says, we'll go over here. We're being diverted through here. I guess you could do a lap, but I will just divert. Yeah, you can go around the houses if you'd like to. And another diversion. Ah, that's quite good. That has actually managed to get us to the other side of where the excavator is. I guess that's just how diversions work. Uh, it's doing what it's supposed to do. And yes, this is the road which goes south again to access all those other fields. That is just so well laid out. On the map, if you look at the map, it just looks like it's just simply 
a loop. It's just like, oh, it's a, it's a dull loop. But no, it's so much more interesting when you see it properly in the game. Amazing. It's amazing how uh, the minimap looks so plain, which I guess is what it's supposed to do. And then when you see it, you are literally breathtaking. Yeah, so this goes back to the cow farm if you want to go back to the cow farm. Further down there, it goes to all the other fields. So we're going to cut back across here through the cow farm, where we were a minute ago, and then I'm going to cut across to the other town, which is Whitney, and also the forest in the north. Now my finishing location is actually going to be the sheep farm, which is roughly in the middle of the map. Also I've increased the time speed now, because I want to be able to appreciate the map throughout the different hours of the day, different lighting, and we are going to finish when it has gone dark so that we can see all the town lights, which is something which I do need to focus on. So yeah, we're now heading across to the forest. If you're interested in where the sheep farm is, it's actually next to field number 35 and 36. So there is the forest on the right hand side. There may well be an entrance somewhere around here. Yeah, it is just uh, just on the corner here, I think. Somewhere, there it is. So, I think it's the same idea as the other one. Some nice muddy puddles, and yeah, it just looks good. But this is exactly my point about the shimmering effect. That is because the time is currently at 120. But if I take that back to real time, it looks great. It looks really smooth and realistic. There is actually the horse farm as well, so um, I think what we'll do is we'll take a look at the horse farm and also the sheep farm. Yeah, we'll finish with the sheep farm. But first, we have Whitney just here. So again, you've got fuel if you want the fuel. Different cell points and stuff. This must be like the high street, main street just here. Uh, we've got some goals for doing a bit of football or something. And then we've got the sawmill just here. And secondly, we have the grain cell point. And then continuing on that road, you do end up at field number one, the very first field. South of here, directly south, is the farm we started off in. So we're just gonna we're gonna go back to field number twenty and then take that road south to the sheep farm. First though, I'm just going to take the back road through the town. Because I don't want to sort of give too much away, but I also don't want to not cover enough. If you give too much away, it doesn't leave anything to be uh, explored when the map is released. Okay, so this is one of the driveways to the sheep farm. And I think it's quite a long drive. It's not just like you turn directly off the road and you're there. We have to have this nice tree lines drive past a ruin. Ooh. Certainly a point of interest. And then, yes, you have to go through a number of gates. There are actually several ways into here. Or a couple of ways into here. I'm going to pull the time back to uh, times five. Because obviously it's dusk. So this is our sheep farm. You zoom in there, you can see sheep pasture. That's where they'll be if you buy them. And then you've got all the detail as well. Once again, same idea. We've got storage sheds and all the buildings and uh, items required to look after sheep correctly. There's also the farmhouse with the Suzuki. And that is the other entrance to this farm. We're now at the bottom of the map, and this is the horse paddock just here. So again, same idea. If you buy horses, that's where they're going to be. And we have uh, some hurdles and stuff, IBCs. I think you do get a, a house with this farm. I think you get a house with every farm, and most likely a Suzuki. Yes, you do. And uh, yeah, it's just well detailed. What more can I say? The video explains everything. It's just decent. It really is. So, um, yeah, I'm just trying to spot something I might have missed. 
don't think I've missed anything. Nope. Okay, so that is really good. That is really good. What we're going to do now is take a look at some distant town lights and also the lighting in the towns at night. Okay, so it's not actually dark yet, but this is what the town looks like at 8pm. You can see the street lights have come on. And the lighting is uh, quite something. You can see the lighting inside everybody's houses as well. And in fact, some houses have exterior lights just to add the, uh, the detail and to differentiate some of the properties. So let's move on. Let's put it now to when it is completely dark. Okay, so it's now roughly 10 p.m. It's still, I think, getting a bit darker. But the thing I want to just draw your attention to now is the distant town lights. You can see we've got them over there, and over there, and over there. Many of them. So it just adds that effect to the horizon. To make you feel like it is not just the one town you're in, you can see other areas. This map is alive. We're now in Bally Green. It's also midnight. So you can see the effect of all the lights again. Distant towns over there. And all the other farmhouses as well you can you can see. So to summarize, I think this really is an outstanding piece of artwork. And I think this is probably my favorite area within one of the towns. This is uh, Bally Green. And we do have this piece of public land with the pond, the river. Absolutely outstanding. So there we go. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed the video. Obviously, do stay up to date with this map. It is definitely worth keeping up to date with and also downloading once it's out. Also, console, I must just mention. Currently, not 100% clear, I don't think. But um, Greenbale, the creator of this map, is going to consider it. They're going to decide what's going to happen after the mod has been released for the contest. So yeah. When the mod contest, I guess, is over, that is when uh, the decision will be made. So, there we go. See you again soon. Bye for now.